Carolina sues the U.S. Justice Department over its controversial bathroom law. Parents in one Georgia school district claim there is confusion over the issue here. North Carolina's law restricts the use of public bathrooms by transgender people. Critics say it also eliminates protections for gay, lesbian, and transgender citizens. Tonight, parents contacted Channel 2 Action News concerned about rules for transgender students at a Fannin County elementary school. And Channel 2's Ricky Klaus is live in Blue Ridge tonight. She met with the superintendent there who, first, Ricky would not confirm nor deny, but he says he wants to make sure that parents are informed. That's right. I sat down with the superintendent here at the Board of Education. He says his office has been flooded with calls and visits about this issue. They even prepared this memo to sort out the facts from the rumors. It's all anybody could talk about. Some members of the Blue Ridge community are outraged over what they say is the case of a transgender student using a school restroom that reflects a different sex than the child's birth sex. Parent Angel Chansey is threatening to take her kids out of school because of it. We're going to do everything we can to stop this, and if not, then us moms are going to come home and teach our kids like it used to be. So there's no easy answers in this at all. I asked Superintendent Mark Henson about the restroom policy involving transgender students. He says federal law protects these kids from being identified at all. Uh, so we can't go into detail whether we do or don't have a transgender student. But he did explain the restroom rules. Basically through guidance federal government that we have to allow a transgender student to pick the uh, restroom that they identify with. Gender wise. Henson says federal guidelines dictate that policy too. School resource officer Anthony Walden organized this group to come together in opposition to the policy. He says their values are being trampled. We got great teachers, we got great administrators, but their hands are being forced. Henson says if a child identifies as transgender, there will be a parent meeting between the child and principal to discuss this. We want to make sure that this is something the child truly identifies with and it's not a fad or it's not going to be a, uh, just a 10th just a grade guy wanting to look in the girls' restroom. The superintendent says his priority is keeping all kids safe. There's a school board meeting here at the Board of Education on Thursday. Many parents and community members are expected to be there to voice their opinions. Reporting live in Fannin County, Ricky Klaus, Channel 2 Action News, Nightbeat.